Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the End of Kerbal Space Program, a series in which I endeavor to find the end game in KSP. As per usual, we are in CCAN installing a mod. This week's mod will be Realistic Atmospheres. Also, I'm going to remove X Science because I want to try Experiment Tracker. But let's see what other contracts we have. Position satellite in a tundra orbit around Kerbin, so that's. Or it means polar orbit? Question mark. 204 degrees? No, 116. Oh wow, that's 103 to 5 megameters. Have mystery goo, thermometer, materials bay. Uh, that's something we can do. Yeah, once we get our launch vehicle, we should be able to do that, so we'll take that. Explore the MUN. This is. Transfer any crew between vessels near the MUN. Rendezvous with two vessels in orbit. Go on an orbital spacewalk. Um, yeah, we could take a dual vessel. We are going to the moon. Test small hard point orbiting Kerbin. Pretty sure we can do that in our orbit 130 to 140. It's a bit of a narrow margin if we're on a transferring orbit. I guess we could always park there. So yeah, we'll take that. Mark 25 parachute in flight or Kerbin. 11 to 1470 to 130. Really wish there was a picture of the part so I don't have to Google. Okay, so the Mark 25 is actually a drogue chute, and I'm not really interested in that. Science data from the surface of Minmus. We're not going to Minmus this episode. Science data from the surface of the Mun. We will get that. All right. Uh, so that's going to be our contracts for this one. Let's see what we have in research and development. We have docking ports. Did I already get docking ports? Oh, there it is. So I think we'll have to go, ah, I wanted the Airstream Protective Shell, but we need a docking port. So, docking port, hmm, we need more science. We do need more money, so let's go in here and uh, finances, finance campaign. Takes 25% of reputation gains. Oh, that's just what's gained. And then it costs 21 to set up. And then it yields. Only a thousand fun for each one unit of reputation. I guess that's something. Patent licensing is science costs, so yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, I ran into a slight hiccup. Uh, I got the landing craft done as well as the return craft, uh, and I need to put both of these into a lunar orbit. A lunar orbit. Uh, but we don't have any of the the big fuel tanks. We just have the one big engine. So I need to research that, which is fuel systems and costs another 90 research and we only have 13. So let's see if we can't skip this into another biome. Or have we used, we've used it all, haven't we? Okay, so we have to relaunch this mission. Oh, fun. This is kind of weird. Okay, so we had to launch two missions, but we do have enough science now so we can get the fuel tanks that I need for our main mission. And I will get back to building on that.
So we have the main sustainer that's going to put us almost into orbit. Um, I don't want to leave it in orbit, so uh, I'm going to stop just before we make orbit and then circularize with the stage that's going to transfer us and also pretty much stop us so our top part can land. Uh, we have landing legs, lights, uh, and power down on the landing part. That will break free after we get our science junior science. Um, and just this top part will make it into orbit. And to rendezvous with the thing that we're putting in orbit of the MUN next. It suddenly got really laggy. Oh, it looks like we're gonna overshoot. Okay, we can go back a little bit. Uh, it's a very low thrust away ratio actually just above um, that of the moon's gravity so we can use throttle to hover and we're down okay I'm gonna restart because I can't take this lag so I kind of messed up a little bit and did the test of the skipper engine in orbit of the MUN and therefore I no longer have that skipper engine to use to uh, put the return capsule in orbit around the MUN. Um, so we're going to use our or our old launcher, this is for the um, test craft Mark IV, and see if we can't get it there. So it looks like we have a bit of a problem. I didn't, uh, <laughs> that entire mission didn't happen, question mark? The one before I restarted? Uh, maybe it didn't get saved in persistence. I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, I believe I was landing, landed somewhere around here. I can't do that mission again because I can't launch the craft again, which, oh, it's underwater again. And put gear down and then quick save in orbit. Okay. Is that, is that supposed to be a thing? Is that Kerbin? Go ahead and start slowing down. I don't think that's supposed to be a thing. But it is Kerbin. No, no, no. Stay. Stay. Okay, I was expecting the ground to be a little bit closer than that. Well, I'm gonna save. Just in case. Turn off the lights, we don't need those. Oh, um, we should probably turn off infinite propellant. I used that at the last second because I ran out of fuel. Uh, pretty close to what I needed though. I packed way too much fuel on this, the original launch. Collect that. Did I take a surface sample? I don't think I did. Take a surface sample. go. Okay, we're fine. Hmm. 
Mwah. Uh, I'm gonna transfer all of the fuel into this main tank, just because there's no reason to have this. Okay, SC is still underwater. I don't know what's causing that. Uh, I should probably investigate. We got 332 science for that, and we recovered uh, 1,000 funds. Not very much, but we have plenty to work with, with, uh, what, 2 million, 69,000? Should be able to upgrade everything. Uh, 7 XP gained, and advanced to level 1 for Valentina. I wonder, oh, at least it's sticking out this time. <laughs> Uh, the astronaut complex, maybe uh, the effects of global warming. Yeah, the lost. That's weird because he didn't die. Uh, but whatever. I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. We have a bunch of contracts to fulfill. I think we'll probably next time we'll fulfill all three of these with just one flight and then get prepared to uh, leave the Kerbin system. Maybe go back to the moon. I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.